guys, good morning. My name is Penny. If you're just joining me, I uh, go by the handle Weird Girl Vintage. Uh, and today I wanted to do a what sold video, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about the new eBay managed shipping uh, thing that they announced. Um, I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video, so if you're not interested, you can just watch the what sold. Uh, or if that's all you're here for, then you can skip the what sold. But basically this week I made about $500 in sales. I'll put up the exact number here later in post. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go through what's sold uh, just so you can get an idea of what kind of things are selling right now. Um, I know I always say this, but I find this really informative uh, almost even more than haul videos just because you can see like what are more realistic prices that things are going for. So without any further ado, uh, first thing that sold, uh, oh, and this is for the last week. This is starting last Friday, right after I filmed that video. So yes, going up until now. So the first thing that sold was a University of Maine Black Bears sweatshirt hoodie. Um, and that sold for $10.77, which I believe was an offer. Next thing was a New Tags Express pink sweater with bat wing sleeves, and I took an offer of $11 uh, plus shipping. Everything was plus shipping. Um, the reason that I took that offer is honestly I've had that sweater for a long time. It started on Poshmark, then I cross-listed it to eBay. Um, and honestly, I just was like, whatever. Next one was another old one, as you can tell from the picture. Um, it was an Adidas, the brand with three stripe shirt and this was back when I was grabbing everything Adidas and Nike and Under Armour um, and that sold for $9.99 uh, which was on sale but it just sold straight out and so yeah I feel like that's pretty fair for an Adidas shirt that's modern. It was a cool shirt though. Next thing that sold um, it was a vintage 90s home improvement shirt and it said real men don't need instructions. Okay. I listed originally for $19.99 and I felt like that was pretty reasonable because it was basically brand new. Um, it just sat for a long time, so I had it 50% off, someone bought it for $9.99, so probably if I hadn't had it on sale, it would have eventually sold, but I honestly, like, at this point, it, it's so easy to get inventory, it's like, you might as well just sell stuff. Next thing is, uh, something that I had listed pretty recently that sold really quickly, and it was a Vans Peanuts Snoopy shirt um and I believe I mentioned it in one of the haul videos and it was one of the more rare shirts for Snoopy um and someone offered me $19 and I took it because that seemed reasonable for it. Next one was a vintage uh Nike logo shirt which was kind of faded um someone bought it outright at $19.99 uh, I think I mentioned it in one of my haul videos Vintage Nike tends to go pretty pretty well. Um, next one was a Looney Tunes Penelope Pussycat Feisty Cat Jacket. It was one that I grabbed a while ago and it sold for 40% off at like $7. Um, I think that was an offer too. It's just one of those ones that I grabbed and I thought it would be better than it was, but it wasn't. Um, Looney Tunes, I always assume will do well, but it, it doesn't really. It doesn't sell for much. Not like Disney. Next thing I sold was pretty recent. It was in a haul video. It was a For Cynthia um, linen tunic. Um, it had some flaws with it, and I sold it for $15.99, which I believe was an offer. Um, just seemed reasonable for, you know, the flaws and everything. The next one was a kind of older one. It was a Mickey Mouse Hawaiian shirt, and it had like a graphic of Mickey Mouse surfing and stuff. Um, it was on sale and it sold out right for about $24. So pretty good, pretty good. Next one was an Alabama All-American Tour concert shirt. Um, and this was one that someone at the Benz gave to me. And when they did, for some reason, I was like, wow, this must be great. Foolish of me. So I took an offer for $10 because um, it, it wasn't really worth that much. Next one was another old one. It was a Banana Republic pleated black mini skirt. Ended up selling it for $13.99, which I felt like was perfectly good. Next one was a um, very new one. I think I had just listed a couple days before. It was that new with tags Dole Whip shirt uh, with the tiki fella and that I took an offer for $14.65. I always think it's interesting when people make an offer that plus shipping is going to equal what you're asking for. I don't know. Good for them for figuring it out, you know. <laughs> Next one was a pair of Cuba Vera khaki linen shorts. Um, and those were definitely pretty old. Um, they were 50% off. You can tell how old they were. So they sold out right for $12.47, um, which I was totally happy to take. Next one was a Daniel Cremier Heather Gray alpaca sweater. 
um, and that sold for $17.99, which I believe was a best offer. As long as an offer is not like half what I'm asking, or even if it is, even if it's like not completely unreasonable, I'll usually go for it or counter a little bit higher. Next one was something that I found a while ago that I thought was really nice. Um, I'm surprised it took this long to sell, but I, it makes sense because it's a blazer. But it was a vintage Armani collection or collezioni uh, blazer and um, it did have shoulder pads. Um, so I don't know if everybody's looking for those right now, but I heard they're coming back. So you heard it here first. Probably not. Or I think it was just on sale, so it was $24.47, um, which that's still pretty good. Next one was a pair of Fabletics leggings. Uh, I love Fabletics, by the way. Favorite sportswear brand. I took a best offer of $15. Um, I had them listed for like $20, so I thought that was perfectly fair. Next one was one that I grabbed that I wasn't really sure if it was going to do well, but I'm glad that it did. So it was a Norwegian Escape Inaugural Cruise Fleece Jacket, and I actually found two of them. And one of them was a women's small, and this one was a men's medium, and the men's medium sold. Um, someone offered me $15. And I was like, yes. <laughs> uh, it's one that like I don't think a ton of people are going to be looking for. So if someone does come along and give me a good offer, I'll be like, yeah. But it's cool. I think it's really cool. It's really unique. So I'm glad somebody got it. Next one was an exciting one. It was one of my favorite vintage pieces that I found. And it was a vintage 90s Gotcha Pro Tech Series Color Block Windbreaker. Um, and I don't know if I showed this in a video, but I definitely posted it on Facebook, or not Facebook, Instagram. So this was kind of a case of counter offers actually working, which isn't always true. Um, but I had it listed for, I think, about $50. And somebody offered me $26, and I was like, oh, that's pretty low. Um, so I countered it at $40, because I felt like that was probably the lowest that I would go for it. And they actually accepted that offer, um, which honestly, I was kind of surprised. Um, but I'm glad that they did. I don't know, sometimes I'll get a low offer and I'm like, uh. but then other times I'm like, you know, maybe they just want to see what's the lowest price. Like, I would much rather someone send me a low offer and see what I counter than someone message me and say, what's the lowest you'll take for this, which has happened twice this week. <laughs> Next one, I actually didn't realize until I was going back to get a picture of it that it was an auction. Um, so it was a Brooks Brothers red fleece blue knit heavy cardigan sweater. And obviously it's not red. The brand itself was Brooks Brothers red fleece. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. I started the auction at $19.99 and it actually ended at $26, which was pretty awesome. Next one was definitely my best sale of the week and it happened last night and it was a wonderful surprise. And that was a Diodora Mazda jersey. And on the back it says Toti number 10. And I believe it's for the um, football or soccer here in America team in Rome, Italy. Honestly, when I looked at comps, the price that I had it for seemed pretty reasonable. And somebody bought it outright for $64.99, um, which was really awesome and exciting. And I'm so glad that it found a new home of someone that will appreciate it. Next one and last one on eBay was uh, something I just listed yesterday, which is always awesome when you just sell something right away. Um, and that was an Under Armour Michigan Tech University jacket. Um, but yeah, so I listed that for $19.99 and someone bought it right out. So yeah, college gear doing pretty well. So that was everything for eBay. Um, for Poshmark, I just had two things. Like I've said before, I don't list that much on Poshmark. I don't share that much. I'm not super active on it, but I am a Poshmark ambassador. So I do have a good amount of a following. You know, nothing crazy, but... I think it's pretty good. So the first thing I sold was something that sold within an hour, so definitely keep an eye out. Um, and that was that J. Crew Merino Wool Blazer. It was so nice. I absolutely loved it. Kind of wanted to keep it, but I listed it for $45 and it sold within an hour after two people made offers that I declined. Honestly, looking back, I probably should have listed it a little bit higher considering it sold that fast. Um, but I will take $45. And then the next thing that sold was pretty old. Um, it was a pair of Trina Turk pants and they were white in the front, black in the back. And someone offered me $12 and I've had them for months. So I took it. So that's all my sales. I just want to talk really quick about the whole eBay managed shipping thing. Um, so if you haven't seen it, basically eBay announced that they're going to kind of copy the fulfilled by Amazon system. And basically, they're calling it managed shipping, and they're going to... I have notes here, so I don't just ramble. Um, they're going to store your inventory, and then they're going to ship it for you. 
Um, so the way that they're pitching it is basically it's going to go out faster. Um, they're going to do it for you. You don't have to store inventory. You don't have to spend money on shipping supplies. Um, and then you get protected by eBay. So basically, if you get negative e feedback because um, they showed up late or they didn't show up, they will automatically delete it. So there, it does kind of sound like a positive thing from the way they're pitching it. But if you look a little bit closer, especially at the FAQs, I don't, I don't know. So basically, I originally foolishly thought it was going to be free. Um, but no, they said their pricing is going to be industry competitive, which who knows what that means. Um, but they haven't announced it yet. But you know, when you think about you would be saving money on shipping supplies and you'd be s saving money on shipping costs, eh, it might end up being, you know, saving you money. But based on the fact that they've added a ton of little nickel and diming things to their listings and like I have to pay 10 cents to schedule a listing now when it used to be free. I don't know if I see it being reasonable for what it is. Um, the other thing that kind of sketches me out about it is it's going to be a third party partner for fulfillment. So it's not actually going to be done by eBay. They're going to be partnering with someone else, which like we don't know who it is. So it's not like I assume that it's going to be someone sketchy. It just doesn't seem like eBay would be as invested if it was a third party thing like it's not even being run by them I don't know I think overall like I love eBay and I don't want to like bite the hand that feeds me and like it is where I make most of my money but I I don't really based on the way that things work now I don't really trust them to ship out my own packages you know what I mean like I am fully invested in my business and I don't trust them to be as interested in my packages getting out on time and going well and everything. Like, I'm sure they have the best intentions. It just, to me, feels a little sketchy. Um, but considering it's been months since they said that they were going to be doing their own payment system and it still hasn't happened, I don't know when and if this is ever going to happen at this point. So it's just kind of my opinion on it. Personally, I trust myself more. I would rather just handle the shipping myself. To me, one shipment matters a lot more than it matters to eBay. So I don't know. That's kind of my rambling opinion. Um, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm sure there's people that will want to take advantage of it. I mean, it definitely does have pros, uh, you know, saving money on shipping supplies, offering lower shipping costs, faster shipping times and handling times. I do understand the appeal. I don't know. I, I guess overall, my main opinion on it is I just, I like being a small business. I don't really want to be part of like a big business. And that's one of the main reasons I didn't really want to do Amazon among many other reasons. But I, I just, I don't want to feel like I'm part of a corporation. I like just being a small business that uses eBay to, you know, basically advertise. Um, but yeah, so that's my opinion on it. Once again, uh, feel free to share yours. I'm very interested to hear because maybe I'm totally wrong and it's going to be an amazing thing and work out perfectly. But yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you uh, to those who like and subscribe and comment. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, if you did enjoy this video, I, I really appreciate likes and subscribes and comments and all that stuff. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at weirdgirlvintage. And um, yeah, have a wonderful day, you guys.